Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Janine aka Mama Cake Face and as promised I am coming back to you with a new video. So if you clicked on this video you're probably interested in learning about the Ardell Magnetic Liner in Lashes. That's what I'll be trying out today. I suggest that you watch my latest video. I'll link it up above so that you know how and what happened to my lashes and how I lost them and why we're here and why we're doing this right now. So I'll link that above for you. So because my lashes are so thin and broken and I have bald spots, I didn't want to apply lashes with glue and I thought about getting the magnetic lashes but I feel like those magnetic lashes, the ones that have to like sandwich your eyelashes in between, might put more strain and tension on my lashes and that's like the last thing that I want to do right now. I just want to let them breathe and grow back and rejuvenate and you know do their thing. So I wanted to look for an alternative um, to have some lashes because y'all look I need that help okay I need some lashes um, and I found um, these Ardell magnetic liner with lashes so you put the liner on and you attach the magnetic lashes to the actual liner so there's no glue involved it says here that it's easy to apply we'll find out and that there's no adhesive needed it's long-lasting waterproof paraben and latex free I'm interested in that waterproof so I can go in the pool with these. Hmm. So this kit right here I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. It was $15.99 with tax. It was about $17 and change. So depending on your state and your taxes and all that, it may run you around, around that um, ballpark right there. It does come with the magnetic gel liner in a tube, a tub, I'm sorry, a um, pencil or a brush to apply it, and then one pair of Ardell Wispy Lashes. So if you guys are familiar with Ardell Lashes and Wispy Lashes, these are the Wispy Lashes. They just have magnets on them. So I'm going to go ahead and try them out. These are supposed to be reusable. How many times they are reusable? I don't know. I guess that depends on how well you take care of them and if the magnets fall off. So I've already done my face. I didn't do a lot, I just did a basic beat. So here is the inside of the package. This is what comes inside. There are no instructions on the inside, they are all on the back. So basically it says that you're going to take your lashes off of this package here very carefully and you're going to remove because it has a, I guess a glue or an adhesive that attaches it to the package. You want to gently remove that so that you can apply them. I'll show you the lash. This is my right eyelash. These are the magnets that are on the lash. Can you see them? So that's what we're working with. They look really thin. But we're going to work with it, y'all. We're going to work with it. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and read over the directions really quick with you guys. I removed my lashes from the package because there is some glue or some adhesive that's holding it onto the package. And I'm going to apply two coats of the Magnetic Gel Liner. And I'll apply the first coat, let it dry, and then I'm going to apply the second coat. And it says to let it be semi wet. So you want it to be a little bit tacky and then you're going to apply your lashes carefully. And then it says for removal, you want to use an oil-based uh, makeup remover. So you could probably use, I would think, coconut oil or anything that is oil-based like that if you don't have a oil-based makeup remover. It also says that you should, uh, for best results, you should apply to clean, dry lids. And for best results, use a primer prior to application. By primer, I don't know what they mean. I don't have a primer. I feel like my eyes are pretty dry because I did use a powder, um, a bronzer on my eyelids today, so that should be okay. So I'm going to probably fast forward this part because, so here's our gel liner and here is the brush. It's a little baby brush, y'all. Let's see how this works. I'm not the best at applying eyeliner, so if you're like me, just go a little bit at a time. Kind of feels like it's already drying. 
Hopefully the lashes will cover any mistakes. I'm just gonna do one eye first so we can see the side by side, like the difference that it makes because these are wispies. They're not like a full dramatic lash. So I wanna see how they look compared to my natural lash. Like anything will be better than what I have going on here. And if you guys have any recommendations on what I could use to help my eyelashes grow back, please let me know down in the comment section. I've already heard about Latisse from my good friend Andrea, and it is pricey, so I'm gonna have to pass on that for now, but I've heard lots of good things about Latisse. I'm gonna go ahead and put my second coat on now. And she also told me that L'Oreal has a lash, I think, conditioner. So I wanna try that out and see how that works. And I wanted you guys to also notice that I did not put any mascara on my natural lashes. Like I said, I am not trying to do anything crazy or apply any more trauma to my lashes. And I don't wanna make this line on my eye too thick because I don't want the lashes like way up in the sky. So I'm going to use one of my plastic eyelash applicators just because the metal ones, um, I feel like the magnets will get stuck. So I'm gonna grab close to the lash line here. You could probably do this with your hand and let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my hand. I do feel it wanting to attach. They're not super dramatic, but hey, that's better than nothing, right? Maybe I can get them to sit up a little bit more so that the lashes are actually are facing up a little bit. I do have the right lash on the right eye but it seems like this inner corner wants to like fly up a little bit. And you gotta be careful also. It says moving these around because of the magnets, you don't wanna pull them off. I'm sure there's a little bit of a learning curve too. And I probably, sh probably shouldn't be adjusting them so much because they were supposed to be on a tacky, the line are supposed to be tacky when it goes on. Okay. So what do you guys think? What is your first impression? So this is with the Ardell Magnetic Lash, Magnetic Liner and Lash, and this is my eye by itself. I think just even the liner itself makes my eye pop. I just wish that these were like the double up, but I mean, I don't know if having so much weight on the magnets will weigh it down. I don't know why that, if that's why they made them so thin because I have the, the wispies and I feel like they are a little bit more than this but this isn't bad I mean I'm not I'm not mad at it I just wish they were a little bit more fuller or they had more options because they only had three options they had these wispies and these were the fullest ones that they had they had the demi wispies which are a little bit lighter than this and then they had some that you could put only in the outer corner like just for a little bit of added volume but I needed something that went across my whole 
Island. If you feel me, let me know. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other lash off camera and give you my final thoughts. Okay guys, so I went ahead and applied both lashes. Um, what do you think? I also applied a little bit of um, black eyeliner in my waterline up above just to kind of connect the two because I just saw a gap, you know, it was looking a little funny. So I wanna show you the side profile. and front profile do you think it makes a difference do you think it do you think these look like the original wispies i feel like the original wispies are a lot fuller a lot more volume um i don't feel like these magnetic wispies are the same as the wispy magnetic lashes that's just my opinion i just don't feel like i don't feel like there is voluminous if you know what i mean so i'm gonna go get my blow dryer and i'm gonna test out the staying power of these magnetic lashes i'll be right back one moment please okay so i have my blow dryer and i'm going to blow dry these lashes and see how well they stay on because you know what if i'm out on a date with my husband and the wind picks up i don't want these magnets flying off y'all i'm gonna be walking around looking all wonky okay with one lash on one lash off or one up here one down there so let's try it out I'm going to put it on high, too. Mm -hmm. This is how I wish they look. I wish they look like that. I mean, they do go up. But they, they do move. They do move up, but they're not, they're staying put. The magnets are not moving. The lashes themselves are moving. I think, you know, I might put a little bit of mascara when I'm wearing these just because. But, ooh, child, let me fix my hair. Oh, I feel like they passed the blow dryer test. Waterproof test. I'm not about to dunk my head in the water. But I will update you guys down in the comments below because y'all know I like to swim. So if I go swimming, I'm going to swim. Oh, do I want to mess these up? They were $15.99. We are in raining season, so... I'll be sure to wear these out when it's raining and see what happens. They're supposed to be waterproof. So we shall see. All right, guys, I hope that you love this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Again, if you have any suggestions on how to help me grow my lashes back, please let me know down below. I hope that you enjoyed this video, you guys, and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.